Selling is a skill that can be learned. Good salespeople are made, not born. Hello, I'm Brian Tracy and in today's video, I'm going to answer your specific questions on how to maximize your sales efforts and close more sales. The first question comes from Zoe who said, you talk about asking high quality questions and that asking better questions leads to providing increased value. But how do you go about crafting those questions? What is your process for creating those high quality, stop you in your tracks type questions? Do you brainstorm beforehand? Do you lay out benefits and think of questions based on those? All very great questions, Zoe. So here's the answer. Once you have been selling for a while and you've asked a lot of questions, you'll find that some questions trigger very positive responses. People lean forward. They show you with their body language. That's, that's a very good question. And what you have to think of is questions that are provocative. There's a lot of work on this was where you ask questions that question whether or not what the person is doing today is the correct thing is are you doing the right thing for yourself today? Could there be a better way to achieve your goals than what you're doing right now? Would you be interested in a way to dramatically increase your results in this area? And the other thing that you can do is to continue to read. There are wonderful books that I've read and that I've written on sales questions, sometimes whole chapters, sometimes entire books on the very best questions that you can ask of clients or prospective customers everywhere. And so do your homework. If it's really important to you, you should have three, four, five, six books like that, and you should be reading them every day. Sometimes one question will increase your income. I learned one question from my reading many years ago that tripled my income that day. I read it in the morning in one of the books, and I'd never heard it before, and it applied perfectly to my sales. And I went out, and when the Customer said, I don't want it, don't need it, can't use it, can't afford it. I asked this one question and he turned around completely and bought from me. And I was calling on offices and I went to the next office, I got the same response, I asked the same question and the customer bought from me. And then I went to the next office, I made three sales in 45 minutes, where I had been used to making three sales a week. So, do your homework and you will come across great questions. Now, the second question comes from Gagan, who asked, what do you do when you hit your all-time low month? It's kind of bothering me that all of my efforts are not getting results. Well, there's a famous story by uh, J.P. Morgan, who was the greatest financier in American history. And at a time of stock market uh, fluctuation and changes, it was going up and down, the reporters came to him and asked him, Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, what is the market going to do? And he said, well, he said, I've been in the market for many years and I've studied it carefully. He said, and gentlemen, the market will fluctuate. And in your life, your fortunes will fluctuate as well. Sometimes your sales go down for no other reason than that many people are away on vacation. Sometimes your sales go down because for many reasons or reasons you don't know, you've called on a whole series of people who are not good prospects. So the most important word in success is persistence. There's a principle I used to teach in my millionaires program is success comes from being willing to go from peak to peak. And once you reach a peak to reach the next peak, you have to go down in the valley, a period of slow sales and then up the next peak. And this is the way life is. Life will fluctuate. You just take a deep breath, uh, tighten your belt, and gut it out. The last question comes from Paul who asks, how do you get your sales team out of a slump? Well, this is a great question and it happens both to individuals and sales teams. And sometimes it could be a result of the market or competition or economic conditions. But how do you get your team out of a slump? Here's the technique I've taught all over the world and it's called the 100 call contest. And what you do is you award a prize of for the first person who makes 100 calls on new customers. And they don't have to make a sale, they don't have to worry about making a sale, they just have to speak to 100 new customers in the shortest period of time. And so your contest starts at Monday morning at 8.30 and you say now, go, and everybody goes. 
and you offer a prize that's substantial, maybe three days at a beautiful resort, all expenses paid for the salesperson and their spouse or their friend, and let people go. You can even set up mini contests. First person to reach 25 calls, first person to reach 50 calls, 75 calls, and th what this means is they have to give you the name of the person they, they spoke to and the telephone number and company of that person so they can't fake the system. And everybody goes to work and they don't even care if they make a sale. And once they start to make calls and compete with everyone else to make 100 calls, all of their slump disappears. And even though they're not trying to make, call, make sales, they're just trying to make calls, during that time, people will say, well, wait a minute, I need that product, I want that product, and they're gonna start making sale out of sale. And what I say is, you will be doing business for the next two years with the first 100 people that you called on in this contest. You'll be astonished, it'll smash through any slump that you have. It's called the 100 Call Contest, give it a try. So thank you to everyone who sent in your questions. Before we wrap up, I'd like to leave you with a thought to share with your friends and followers. It is this, selling is a skill that can be learned. Good salespeople are made, not born. Some of the best salespeople in the world were initially terrified of making their first call. Now I'd like to hear from you. So my question today is this, how do you develop high quality questions to ask your prospects? Leave a comment below and I'll be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching and remember, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now. To discover how to close more sales, click the button on the screen or in the description to get my free 23 Closing Techniques Battle Card. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in teaching you how to close more sales, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with your friends or anyone else who might benefit from this information.